Hello everyone, and welcome to a very festive event known as Hunt the Hermit. Guys, yeah, very very <laughs> indeed. We are going to be hunted. Very How do you feel? Instruction for Christmas. <laughs> I, I feel good. I just have one question for you, X. I'm sorry that I had to bring this up, but what is wrong with a Santa hat? Why did you have to go like a scarf? Oh and man, stuff? this guy Come loves on. my scarf so much. He's jealous. Oh, you're so guys. Cool. If you're watching, you've got to make your scout a scarf skin. He really uh, wants one. On the posh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I do. I do. Oh. I have one. So, we're going to be hunted. We have invited all of these wonderful people down below. Jump up and down, peeps. Don't don't spam click too much. It makes a lot of noise. <laughs> There's the noise. So, <laughs> we're playing... <laughs> Crowd surfing. I always wanted to do this. Crowd surfing. Love it. <laughs> so, we're playing this game called Hunt the Hermit. And this is the first time we've ever put this idea together. So, there's a very good chance what's going to happen could be unbalanced. We could win easily. They could win easily. Or maybe it actually turns out to be a really balanced game. But the idea is that you can win this game by either being a hermit and surviving to the very end, or being a member of a team, a regular team, a non-hermit team, and killing one of the hermits. Then your entire team is considered a winner. So there are going to be teams of four. All these people down below are going to be paired up with other random people into a team of four. And us hermits are going to play as individuals separated from one another in the world. The only way we can team up together is if we find each other on the world, then we're allowed to talk together in team speak. Otherwise, we're starting separated. Now, there are some perks in this game. When you kill a player, you will get a golden apple. That is the same for everyone. When one of these players down here kill anyone else, either a player on another team or a hermit, their entire team gets healed up to full. So they have a huge incentive to fight each other as well as hunt down us hermits as well. Now, if you're a hermit, like one of us guys up here in the sky, uh, they won't be able to see our name tags. Our name tags will be invisible, so we will be harder to hunt down. However, we will glow for one another, so it'll be easier for us to pair up and start a team. Uh, we're also going to have speed and resistance, so we'll be slightly faster, and we will have resistance, and I can't remember if we have double health, that's not on my list. Wasn't, it, in, wasn't it invincibility as well? I yeah, oh, and invi yeah, of course, invincibility. <laughs> I just want to say, Sharpness yeah, 100 Ixuma. on your sword. <laughs> Ixuma, Ixuma. You, you always glow to me. Ah, oh, this guy. You're so beautiful. Oh, oh, oh Minecraft oh, hug. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's literally everything that I needed to tell you all. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. What are you guys thinking? You feeling confident? Oh, baby. So, I'm I'm scared. Scared. I'm I'm so the poor PvPers. If we, a hermit, kill player, do we get healed to full health? Or no, we do not. Good question. All we get is a golden apple, which is what anyone playing will get when they kill someone else. It's just if, if these players down here kill someone, their entire team gets healed. We have to do it the hard way, unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kill the Hermit. I am terribly excited for this one. And the server is doing the best it can. Some fun info for you. There's 140 people playing. There are 34 teams that we are up against, and we should expect to see some lag. I also can't jump. Why can't jump boost? That was probably negative. That was from the beginning bit where you're locked into the stage. So we got cows. Oh, we're next to a swamp. That's fantastic for apples. And I want to say I am absolutely excited for this. Feels like I haven't played a UHC in a while. Not on the main channel anyway. And this event is an idea that I had a while back. And we're going to be playing with severe lag by the looks of it. It's the best we can do, basically. And there we go, we've got some wood. You see, I've been smart. I knew that they would pop back eventually. Look at that, regeneration. That will probably disappear. Uh, that's slightly worrying that I have regeneration. It isn't going away, isn't it? Well, I'll talk to Autumn and make sure that that's resolved. He's the admin who's put this game together. Autumn, if you're watching, thank you for all you do. Uh, ain't possible without him. Uh, let's punch down that one up there. And this lag, man, it will take a while to go. So I was saying there are 34 different teams that we're playing against. And we are a team of eight separated from one another. Us hermits have to <laughs> find our way back together. It's going to be crazy. Now these leaves are disappearing nice and easy. We've got to assess what's going on with the lag at all times. So those leaf blocks went away straight away. But then these ones don't really want to go anywhere. <laughs> it's like hermits versus lag right now. Yes. Um, so, I've been playing a lot of UHCs with my patrons. Oh, by the way, the patrons, uh, Twitch subscribers, all of you who are participating in the game and helping us put this together, thank you all for 
uh, being a part of this. It will hopefully turn out to be a very fun event. <laughs> And it will probably need to be rebalanced, to be fair, and there will probably be more of these in the future because this is a really, really cool way to do UHC. You guys get to play on a server with us and hunt us down and try try to kill us. Don't try and kill me if you're playing, though. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, there'll be none of that winky face or anything like that. That's one of the reasons that we made it so that when you kill... When you're a regular player and you kill another player, your entire team gets healed. You've got a huge incentive to actually uh, go out there and fight each other, as well as us. Because otherwise, what we might end up with is everyone trying to kill the hermits. And that would be extremely difficult for us, as you can imagine. And I'll tell you what else is difficult, this lag. But with this many people playing, you've got to expect it, really. Okay, I'll tell you what I could do with... Um, <laughs> I was about to say an axe, but we should... We should scout for sugarcane. There's a gentleman's rule, by the way. And the first episode of this probably... I don't know if it'll be 20 minutes or not um, in length. But there's supposed to be minute markers every 20 minutes. I had a feeling I wasn't talking about minute markers. <laughs> I don't know what I was starting to talk about. Man, this lag is distracting. So yes, we have, uh, we have a minute marker every 20 minutes. But what you'll see is that it takes... Uh, a lot longer to get to that 20 minute point because the ticks on the server are going really slow right now. This is a uh, 140 person server right now which is crazy. And what I was going to say is that there is a gentleman's rule that lasts 20 minutes. This is a hard coded rule. Doesn't mean you can choose to go along with the rule if you want to. It's actually there in the game. Notice how I'm like spreading out all of this so that when the block pops back, like hopefully I've got it. Uh, we've got 8 which is good for a furnace. And we need to get a sword. I don't know why I crafted a wooden sword. And we need to get a pick. So if I could pick up those items, fantastic. Right, do we still have regeneration? No, it's gone. That must have been because of the tick lag that it stuck around for a little while. And now this is decaying, fantastic. We want to look out for those apples. Man, this is exciting. <laughs> Alright, let's make that sword. Let's make a pick. And we don't have enough for a furnace, so we will make an axe. And then we got the goodies. Right, so for all of you UHC pros doing your backseat gaming, Asuma, why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? It's different when you're recording. You're looking at different parts of the screen. You're focusing on different things that are going on. I'm going to have fun. That is always my goal, to have fun. And if I don't play particularly well, I mean, if I've had fun, then what's the harm? That's the way that I, I hear a zombie groaning. He must be under the swamp somewhere in a cave. That's the way I look at this game, otherwise I could get easily stressed out reading my comments thinking, man, I'm such a derp. Uh, it's going to happen, we'll just go with the flow, and I'll do the best that I can think of. So, as of right now, our priorities are to get food very quickly. I believe this is this is 1.10, by the way, Minecraft, so those old hunger glitches might still be um, a problem. We would like the wood as well, thank you. And that's two trees, sorry, three trees we've got to keep our eye on for apples. Now, when it comes to finding other hermits... I think there will be a point in the game, once we're initially set up, where traversing and intentionally looking for other players would be very smart. We move faster than anyone else on the server because we have speed. We have resistance, so we're harder to kill. We've got double health. We've got a lot of perks. And, oh yeah, this is right. What will happen is they'll die in a bit. See, I've played many UHCs like this. All of those hits that I just did on them will register. And they'll also take away durability from... Hey, Scar just got an upgrade. They'll take away durability from my sword. So make sure we hit it twice. I think with a wooden sword, the critical might be all you need. A crit and one hit might just be it. <laughs> that rhymes. Amazing. Good stuff. So we'll have to walk back through this field. The original cows haven't died yet. I think animals do take a while to process. <laughs> if you're thinking this is bizarre... Like, Minecraft was not made for 140 people all playing at once. There we go. We got our first kill. And that was kind of strange because the ones before it haven't died yet. I think actually none of those kills that we just did may have registered at all. And we've got to start over again. Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Oh, well, we've got to put up with it. <laughs> Full says block lag or just me. Uh, yeah, you're going to get that. 140 people, as I've been saying. Hi. Well, we might just come back to this in a moment because... I don't know what activity would be best. Auto smelting is on, peeps. We're getting a lot of leather from this. I would like... <coughs> no, we're not. We're getting one piece of leather. I would like to make 
a, uh, a piece of leather armor. I never do that, but it looks like we might not actually get a lot here. Eating is going to be laggy as well, by the looks of it. That's slightly worrying, because my experience with that sort of lag is that you need to keep holding on the food until it goes through. Otherwise, you don't get it at all. Yikes, and that hunger is really kicking in. <laughs> Gotta fight the lag. There we go, we managed to eat one. We know how long it takes to do the other one, so we'll leave it alone. Hi, you died instantly, that's terrific. Can we get some more like that so we can pick up some items? Did I actually pick up the items from the last one? No. No, I didn't. That might be the case with a few other things around here. Well, <laughs> laggy cow hunting with Asuma. I really wanted to do this for a long time. I said it earlier, but uh, solo UHC, something you record by yourself, comes around hardly ever. I think I've done one on the channel. And I think for some people, they don't see it as fun, but sometimes I feel like that's just what I want to do. I just want to like hang back, play some Minecraft, and chat to you guys, you know? All nice and casual. Uh, it reminds me of live streaming a little bit. And I really love live streaming. Live streaming's fantastic. If you never caught my streams, I highly encourage you to come along. A lot of people seem to really like them. And what's so great about it is it's, it's kind of like doing a video, but it, you don't have to prepare or worry about anything. It's just, it's all happening and you just have to have fun and, and, and chat to the peeps who come along. Right, so these trees are decaying really slow. We're going to chop down this one here. We've got floaty vines. That's really odd. Uh, the block lag will probably not get too much better until people start to... Uh, hi! <laughs> I want to chop that one until people start to leave the server, which is after they die. So it's going to be like this for a while, unfortunately, which is just fine, really. And we're not going to go to the nether. That's not part of my strategy at all. I feel like the perks that we have really don't make it worthwhile going to the nether. And knowing me, I'm probably going to change my mind later on when I met up with someone and <laughs> it'll be crazy. All right, so quick eyeball check backwards over where we've chopped down trees, no signs of apples. Uh, we didn't spot any sugar cane. I still can't spot any. Heading in that direction might be good. Let's get our bearings here a little bit. We are a thousand blocks out in one direction and 800 in the other. So far away from spawn, probably not gonna be interrupted by other players. We need to hunt for food. And that's a horse, yes. It looked kind of odd for a second. Sugar cane, hello! Let's go get that sugar cane. Uh, what have we got around here? What other biomes would be useful? I think we kind of spawned in the best place with the swamp, so we want to focus on chopping down those trees. Maybe jumping into a cave to get some iron armor wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll take all of this, thanks. That's a tremendous amount. Pro tip for you when playing UHC, always get sugar cane when you see it. I mean, unless you've got to break a neck to go get it, you've got to realize that you're taking that sugar cane away from other players, which is the same with killing animals as well. We didn't, um, we didn't leave a crafting bench back there, so I don't actually have a reason to backtrack other than to check those trees. So this might be a better place to hang out at the beginning of this game here. Man, this is terrible. They're not dying yet. Uh, we're going to have to chop down trees here as well. That's all we're doing, right? We've got our lever. I could, I could make some leather armor right now. Why am I getting... Dude, go away. <laughs> Why am I getting pushed? That's crazy. That's cray cray, yo. Hi, we'll get that one now. Excellent, come on. Let it all decay. That's what I say. Yeah, sheep. I need to rattle my brain. I have a list of UHC notes, and usually what I do is I read them before I play UHC. Because I'll forget about most of it, but I'll at least remember one thing, you know, and that'll be useful. Um, in this case, I forgot to read my notes. And it looks like some people... Dude, first death, silverfish! Oh man, I, I've got a feeling there's a bad story behind that. James Drew, if the lag got you there, uh, I apologise. That That's nasty. Someone's digging in an extreme hills biome, I reckon. And I reckon lag would have killed you. Silverfish are not tough to deal with, but in this environment, it could be pretty nasty. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. If, if that if that ruined your day, uh, I feel really bad for you. Because getting caught out in this lag sucks for everyone. Like, that ain't a fair game. Right. We're going to stick pretty much in this area. There's some extreme hills over there. That might be where they died. There's no sign of other player. Not seen anything glowing yet. Uh, we're clearly in a very big world, though. So I think chances of finding other hermits are probably not that big. 
And I don't think we should make it our strategy to find other players, but we should certainly make that time to come back to the surface and have a look. And if that's after, you know, um, a few people have died, the lag might be better. Like, maybe caving would be better than doing this. Doing this later in the game? Because I could get a head start on exploring caves, which might be terribly dangerous because of mobs. I think we're going to change the strategy here, peeps. The logic there, in my head, makes a lot of sense. What do you guys think? <laughs> That's something we've got to do. We've got to do a live UHC one time as well. So 25 steak will get us through a little bit of the game. I'm going to do a head check back for those apples. Uh, maybe kill a couple more cows and then we'll look for a cave. Look at this. Takes a while to eat, doesn't it? Takes a while to eat. And my inventory is super janky. Swap those about. Apple, hello. Yes, we need you to make golden apples. That's a good, very good sign that we got one of those. And uh, am I confident about winning might be a question. I am, I'm confident that we could win if the the powers that be. No, I don't know what sort of sentence I'm trying to construct right now. If this game is unfortunately unbalanced in our favour, I'd be confident. Um, but because I don't know if it is either way or not, I sort of feel confident just because I know that I'm going to be better than, you know, another player if I encounter them. Although, I could encounter a team of four players at once. And even with these perks, I don't think that's going to do too much for you now that I think about it. Jeez. I was all confident until I started to think about it. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Uh, we're going to leave these trees. Unfortunately, this trip back hasn't yielded any apples, but we have one apple in case I make a boo-boo. I do have resistance, which is going to help us tremendously. I think if we have like iron armor and encounter a skeleton, we could probably get away with taking a few hits and not losing hearts. So moments like that are going to be made uh, much better. Right, so we come back here. What, what, are, what are people talking about? <laughs> why all this block lag? Rack, you know exactly why there's block lag. It's the same every time. It's because you have an insane amount of people trying to play a game that was not made for this many people to play. Piggies, I feel like we need some more food. You guys uh, are going to have to go. I'm sorry. We need those pork chops. Uh, is there a cave entrance here? It kind of looked like there might be one. No, that's a ponds. There's some more sugar cane we should steal from other players. Hi, cave entrance. Another ponds. We'll take the sugar cane. We'll go back for the pork chops. And... Uh, and that'll do, I reckon. And we're down into that cave. I could do with some surface coal, which we'd actually probably find if we headed in that direction. Do I have my crafting bench? I do. How much wood do I have? 36. What's down here? So many questions. Right, if you can't see this right now, I apologise. I'm hoping to get some cheeky, cheeky usefulness. Some coal, some iron. Uh, I believe I see coal. I do see coal. Okay, and I don't see mobs. This is this is kind of promising. And there's iron here. Okay, so we will get torches done ASAP. Uh, unfortunately, what we have to do right now is break the blocks one by one. Uh-huh. And I think some coal's already dropped down. We would like a lot of torches. So let's make those sticks. Let's start moving our uh, inventory around a little bit here as well. Something like that is much better, in my opinion. Bam, you can see again. Thank me later. <laughs> For those of you that are like, why didn't you edit it? I'll tell you what, like, I have to upload these videos very quickly. You're probably watching this the day after we've played it. And usually there's like a week between. Uh, but more often than not, sitting through and watching a whole UHC to remember all the bits you need to edit, that sort of stuff is so time consuming. Uh, when it comes to playing an event like this, part of it is about it being done in a way where it takes a lot of time away from making... Sorry. It, it not, doesn't take time away, it gives you time to do more in your other videos because this is supposed to be easy to edit and something fun, you know, that you can, you can do and not have such a big workload. So what's great about this series is not only is it fun to play, oh yeah, we don't have to smelt, um, that we also now have more time to do in our episodes. And recently I've been really stretched for playing modded and hermitcraft. I try to do as much as I can every time. Uh, but it reaches a point in the day where you have to call it a day. <laughs> and uh, and this will give me more time. So hopefully the next few episodes will be a bit more action-packed. Because we're doing so much stuff at the moment on both series. It's been really fun. 
Okay, there's a definite creeper over there that I don't like the look of. These caves are opening up, and what I'm fearful of is that crazy lag where it's like, and you're dead. Like, you know, hey, look, there's a... M oh, no, he's killed me. <laughs> that kind of lag. That's what I'm fearful of right now. I need to be actually mining some cobblestone, so it's kind of silly to do this, but I really need it because we want to create a bridge. And having blocks in your hotbar is such a good thing to do in Minecraft. Like, it might seem like a bit of a weird one when you're doing inventory checks, like, have I got blocks, but... I tell you what, go into a fight or go caving without blocks on your hotbar, like you always need to place a block to jump up or to block a mob from you. It's always a good idea to, uh, to have your blocks there. Alright then. Alright then, so what was I going to do? I need to make some iron armour. That's easy enough. I wonder if this world has had granite, andesite and durite pulled out of it, because that's something that I like to do, and it wasn't done on the last one we played, unfortunately. I need to eat. Remember, eating takes a while. <laughs> Certainly takes a while. Jeez, count that. It's like a good few seconds. Let's make a helmet, since we've got enough for a helmet. A sword might have been a really good idea. Hi, how's it going? Right, let's uh, pick this up. Oh, oh. <laughs> And let's try for a little bit more cobble again. You can see the blocks that survived and the ones that didn't. I mean, the block, lad it, bl block lag is horrendous, but you don't always get every single block. Just adds to the challenge, really, doesn't it? I see that creeper still in the same spot. Uh, what we would be wise to do before we start mining that iron is to check out the situation through this. Do I see mobs? Doesn't look like it. And that's it. Dead ends. No iron. A little bit of coal. We'll pick up the coal as we go. Uh, getting all of this stuff is good, because it drops XP for enchanting. But in this situation, with this lag, it can be really annoying. I just realised something. I just looked over at my other screen, which has got TeamSpeak up. I can actually see all of the other hermits are still by themselves. So spoiler alert, no one's found each other yet. I'm actually going to minimise that. I feel like knowing that there's another team would sort of be cheating. Uh, I wouldn't call it cheating if someone else was doing it. You know, like uh, you could easily leave that open and not really think about it. So I'm just going to turn it off and forget that TeamSpeak's there. Mifrin Drill. <laughs> That's a cool name. I like it. Very Lord of the Rings. Very Lord of the Rings. Let's make some more torches. And let's head down. I love that smelting isn't in the game. It streamlines a process that is kind of tedious in what is, or can be, a bit of a tedious game. You know, you've got to do a lot of caving and repetitive stuff. There's more iron just there. Ingot is mine. Uh, to get that, we will be super cautious. Digging our way across here might sound like a good idea, but it's going to be slow. <laughs> Also, eventually we're going to need an iron pick. I'm a little bit worried about the blocks reappearing with me inside them as well. Oh, and there we go. 20 minutes. Thank you for watching.